it's just the instinct. The cat and the mouse. Doesn't really eat the mouse, it just plays with it. It's hungry, it will. But I don't think five months. The cat's not gonna eat five months every, every day. Okay. Uh, some Armenian writing there. There you go, 1965. It could be, um, could be in Armenia or on the border. Armenia. The Black Sea. When my dad was stationed by the harbor, and then Europe. I lived in Europe, in London, Spain, and then here, 82. I came to Vancouver. My dad bought me a fly fishing setup. And then probably the first or not, the first, the second cast, I had a coho on a fly, which was a lint from my mother's knitting. It wasn't even a fly. And uh, then I put flies from Zellers in the package. But no matter what, it doesn't matter. It just fell in the water. There's so many fish that, you know, you caught it. And then as things got uh, harder and harder, then came over, obsessed and started going to the libraries then and looking at the, the bugs or what's in our ocean and what the fish eat. Any day is the last day. Because the fry tell you that they're running for their life. I haven't seen one fry go down. I haven't seen one job, makes me nervous. There's nothing, there's nothing. I don't understand. Why? I have no idea. What can I do? Hardly any salmon, hardly any fries, so. Screw the theories and stuff. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, one of the best ones ever, man. Hopefully. You can't prove to yourself that it's right. I don't, I'm not a, too much of a believer. That cloudy thing. I've got coal in the sun, I've got cut through. Fry that is just lost and swimming slowly. The cut through don't just wait for you until you get back from here. <laughs> you only have like two weeks to the window. The three times I came, three of them were a bomb. Yeah, I mean, it could change in four days, but as I said, two of them, no fish. I came early, more for the walk. And... Yeah, so I know that they're in here. Sure, they've seen. Dude, the line, I mean, look at it. Instinct to chase them. I mean, look at it. Perfect habitat, the, the log booms and stuff. They're not eating them, but they still chase them out of spite. What a difference, eh? The shore is about nothing, I know, because truly they see everything. When the Fraser goes dirty, the fry goes somewhere. But the Fraser is way safer. Let's see if they're still here. Any day could be the last day. The thing is here, the angle, they see you for sure. And then usually after a couple of casts, the line, they see it already, it's all. I can't believe I have it. I can't believe he gave me this for doing those flies for the magazine. Andre, this Fluger reel, I, in the early 1970s, for steelhead 
and local and my crying rivers, Art Lindgren. I was just learning and uh, I went for it. Didn't know if I could do it, but it was a good challenge. I have to thank Art for pushing me and uh, having the confidence that I could, because I didn't know I could do it. Art Lindgren is one of the pioneers here in the fly fishing world and for BC and Canada. He's fished and caught more steelhead than I think anybody. He's written a lot of books. He's a legendary fisherman and a writer, and I cherish his books. I collect them because it's history. And uh, you have to respect uh, what uh, Heck Brown did before him, and he continued the, the writing and enhancing the sport in the fly tying world, doing a lot of environmental work. He cares about cutthroat as well, and coho. He's an avid coho fisherman and a cutthroat fisherman. But the way I look at it is, if you, as I always said this, I was telling it to Tony. If you tell one person, only it's a secret if you know only, you personally. If you tell your brother, it's not a secret anymore. Oh, look at that. What else can you do? long pull, fast pull, cast, strip right away, wait, seven hours. Oh, that's even harder. The big ones are even harder. Seven hours. Yeah, 12 to, I was home, 8 to 10, so. It was boiling, seven hours. I changed probably 20 flies. I put on a popper, I put on things that I don't, I would never find. Farmhouses, pit bull attacking, farmers swearing, illegal land, driving, getting kicked out, just to catch one cut. <sighs> I know I went home. <laughs> Why did you get a video of me just standing here? <laughs> James like, well, that's nice, but just understanding there. <laughs> so these are eating fish. These fish are eating. Beautiful sight. See that right there. Look at that, look at that. Fry, something underneath chases. Cutthroat have been found here in Washington, and Washington cutthroat have been found here. They've tagged them in crazy places. The other day, totally different. They were just and then left. Nothing to do with the sitting ones here. I could tell they just came in from the pit. And then who knows where they're going? Somewhere else. Or were they coming down from somewhere? I don't think it's the pattern. I mean, to some degree, I'm not saying put an orange woolly bugger here. Mind you, the sticker bag are chasing the fly. Look at that. There's a cutter underneath. Right? Pushing the fry against the wall. Don't forget the stone fly nymphs. <laughs> Don't forget the bugs as well. There's water shrimp. There's so much food. Smell. Get ready for a hug. Thank you. And I'm glad I came because now I don't have to wander. The thing is, why did you wait all year for this? <laughs> I mean, it's not like next year I'm not going to do it. But then again, you, you just do it, but you don't know why the hell you did it.